Hi, buddy. So, I have a bag. Mm -hmm. Finished it this morning because last night I did all the clear up in this corner and then I just had to fill in the green. So, uh, I already sealed it. I sealed it with um, the uh, extra glossy mod podge. So, me. So, I will see if I can find the link for these on Joann's. This is metal. The screws on the back. Um, and it's just a nice wood frame with like a twine. So I found these on Amazon. They have a little sticker, but they're not really strong enough with the heavier ones. Like they're fine with the 30 by 30s, but they're not really strong enough to hold so I have to actually um, put super glue which I got Loctite glue, Loctite, Gorilla Glue, um, whatever kind of glue. Um, so I just look at the back and I'll just go through and um, put a dot in the middle and then um, try not to put too much because you don't want to have it seep. Uh, I accidentally did that with the draft one and I had a little too much glue so you could see it. It was a partial, so you could see it on the spots that was a partial. It was just, it was so heavy that I had so many glue to the back. So I try to stick to the 30 by 30s for my square one or um, the smaller 30 by 40s that are actually. 25 by 35s. Oh, this one's a 40 by 40. It should be okay. This one's only going to be up for a month. It's the Irish one, so it'll be up for just a month, and then it, um, I will hopefully by then have my um, sunflower and cardinal back by then, hopefully. So yeah, so I thought I'd show you um, I just glue these guys on, try not to glue my fingers, kind of scatter them a bit so they're supportive, and you can just find these on Amazon, or I'm pretty sure you can find them in the craft section, I'm sure. But yeah, um, I don't remember what the prices are for the metal, the, um, I think the medium one I got was on clearance because there was a bunch of the, um, little screws gone and I just sent it with my husband and he went to the hardware store in town and just went and bought um, some new screws for it so I just kind of scatter them oops I put those to close for that's okay it's like I need to order more and then um, I cut off because I've sealed it so I'll cut off right to the edge where right where the um, diamond are and it's nice because you can have up whatever one you want like if you want to have a theme for the summer you can find a cute 30 by 40 if you get one of the medium one and then you can have a fun you know whatever your favorite flowers or some butterflies you can have up and then turn around Um, and then have uh, a fall one up. Like I've got several fall ones. I've got like an apple one I put up. It's got apple pies on it. I've got a um, pumpkin with the canning jar and some sunflowers. So I have a couple different ones for the different seasons. I've got a snowy one for the and I've got a Christmas tree one that's from her. But yeah, I just glue these and then 
obviously you gotta cut off the sides but then when you hang it it's a nice um it usually stays pretty well this is like a oh, i don't remember who made it now i'll look it up it's a message board you're supposed to like do dry erase put like inspirational messages on it but i use it for this so yeah so i will go ahead and finish this and then i will be right back okay so my edges are all cut off and while we're here <coughs> i can talk about how the dental hair went Sorry, I uh, had this tray in front and I forgot and I spilled a bunch, but that's okay. I got them. If not, it's never not clean tray, so I have insurance. So. This was seven colors, so it was very easy. Oh, this is Mod Podge I used. The, um, super glossy. It's not as strong smelling as the regular gloss, which is a bonus for me because uh, I have issues with strong smell. So I had maybe just a few little, little pieces. Just a few little pieces of the um, a little silver or like one that was had like a little cut in it. So these are all my baggies. I kept them. Um, this was the main color. And yeah, as you can see, I have lots of it left. So I have, this is the main color for the green. Plenty of that left. And then the other colors were just kind of accent. Um, they just kind of like the darker green in the middle. There's a little bit of like a bluish green. And I have plenty of all of those. So what's nice with Amy's is if you do like not kidding up, hers do cut bagged. If you, um, I would say about, I don't know, seems like I've got one downstairs that's not. But most of the other ones have the hum bag, so I wonder if it depends on the painting. If she has one where um, she has to have it weighed because it takes a lot more. But um, I have had the ones on the string, and I've had the ones like these in a baggie. From, right, so like my trees were in a baggie, and my um, cardinal was in a baggie. But the what's the other one that's down there? Oh, the um, Irish flag one is in the string of drills. So it's no big deal because I always find my containers. We all know that. So let's, let me hang it and then I'll bring you over.
struggling with today is getting it. So I have drywall hook thingies my husband put up. But you get the gist of it. It's nice and secure after that on two hooks because it's a big one. But I can put my medium and small one side by side over there. And I just put a knot in the medium one so it's shorter. And it actually makes a nice layering effect on the wall. So yeah. So there it is hung up. So if you guys have any questions. If you want to know more about um, any of Amy's crystals. Visit her website. Her um, website is always. She's always adding different ones. So there might be new ones coming up. And her diamond paintings always come out beautiful. Um, Joanne's is where I got the frame. And you know Mod Podge and little... These little cookies, and this is what this is why I collect these containers because, as you can see, I use it. And then I'll bring you over here quick. <clears throat> I'll just show you. Put you back down. Um, what I do. Um, I know I showed this. I got this, and I think they're discounted right now on Hobby Lobby online. I saw because I was on Hobby Lobby and they had one that was smaller. And I thought about getting the two, and then they had this one and. The basket ones that have the handles that are open that were the same colors and I was like, mm -hmm. like I don't really need any more storage I honestly don't need any more storage but you never know so I've showed this before when I got it and then when I filled it so you saw what I was using before. I've got all my demo dots in here but then over here in this purple one these are all the ones from my Christmas tree and the um, cardinal. So I um, am keeping all of Amy's. Maybe one day I will do a freehand, make your own design, or do... Um, Amy has ones on her website that are like that look like a coloring book, sort of. And then you can just go ahead and um, fill in. I think she's got two or three designs, but yeah, you just fill it in and um, fill it in. She doesn't provide, she's just to buy the canvas. So yeah, so I thought, so I'll put those in there and see what colors I got and put them in there. And then I thought it'd be nice, like, you know, um, I was watching, um, I've started collecting ABs as I've shown some of the ABs I've bought from um, Diamond Dots. Like I've got some pretty basic colors but then I was watching um K Diamond Paints and she did something that was I thought was kind of cool she took she got a kit and I forgot where it was from I don't know if it was Crafties maybe it was from I'm trying to remember Crafties or Crafty something I'll have to look it back up but she took because a kit she came kit she got from Crafties already had two instead of ABs they had two different color sparklers in there or crystals that I, I refer to them as crystals, but she was calling them sparklers. So they had two of these in there. So she added some others. And I thought that was kind of a cool effect to have like a regular diamond painting and then add um, the crystals to it. So I thought that was cool. Because I do have, like if I wanted to sparkle up um, another crystal, like I have that bird one downstairs, I do have AB crystals that I could add to that and add the sparkle. Plus I've got black babies, so I could definitely add these to her kits and make it fun. Uh, but yeah, and if you don't have a lot of crystals or extra crystals, uh, they do have some of the metals and the crystals uh, in the jars. So yeah, I thought I would just show you guys that. So if you have any questions or comments or you want to see anything else that I've talked about and need any tips, diamond painting, organizing, you just want to uh, 
find out good spots to get things or, you know, I mean, you can always leave a message or leave uh, a comment and ask me about what, you know, what am my opinion on this one? Have you bought from this store before? Have you bought from this store? Or if you're a first time diamond painter, you want to be steered in, you know, give me your top five stores that you buy from so I can start shopping and figure out what I want or what would be your suggestion to start and you know anything like that I'd be always happy to answer so remember diamond painting is a craft it's for fun it's a great way to relieve stress I know I like to relieve stress by diamond painting diamond painting makes me happy makes me a happier mom makes me a happy wife makes me a calmer person